it is part of what we have to um, talk about in this particular class. But interstitial cystitis is actually an inflammation that happens inside the bladder itself. Very painful. Um, and the last time I said, well, you know, hard to see it. And the student said, we had a patient that had it. So I was like, uh, I've been a nurse for a long time. I probably had five patients in my whole life in the 30 years I've had. Because it's not something people use a hospitalized for. So, and most of the time that I work, I work in hospitals. So, um, it is um, how we treat it nowadays, or what you see people doing mostly, is actually in instilling medication into the bladder itself. It's called intravesical therapy. And they use to actually decrease the inflammation and pain that is there. Because usually what happens is patients have painful urination. Sometimes women have to cat, it happens more in women. Uh, they catheterize themselves because they can't enter the bladder fully that kind of stuff. But I don't really ask you about it because it really is not something you see a whole lot. Uh, you, you may see 10 cases now that I told you that. But um, it's not something that you see patients hospitalized for. And remember, the NCLEX is always going to ask you things that are common as far as disease process. So you're going to get renal failure because that's a common thing that happens to people. You're going to get prostate stuff because that's something that happens to people. Get bladder cancer as opposed to, because that happens more often than interstitial cystitis. So I'm not really sure why we talk about that a whole lot, but it is there. You gotta kind of go over it. Um, I was looking at my schedule. Y'all kept asking about the schedule. I said, ah, I have somebody coming to watch me tomorrow. Um, so I gotta be nice tomorrow. We have to go tomorrow. Oh, we can do the evolve so, one. <laughs> I, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Y'all so. gonna be nice tomorrow. I know it's on tape, but I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's not even thinking about the quiz. <laughs> we are. We are. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that's <laughs> that's all that's all right now. <laughs> I tell y'all to stop thinking that way. You're that's supposed to be thinking about all your stuff now and getting it together. It's mm -hmm. getting better in clinical, right? You're yeah, seeing, it's better. You're seeing the pieces that go together. I know right now you can say whatever, Ms. Henderson. We know how to do the path and let it go. <laughs> but it makes it, it's the, it, when you see that though, when you see the pieces come together, it makes it real good. It's a lot nicer. Um, I got to figure out what I'm doing. I hadn't even thought about it. I just was looking at the schedule and I was like, why do I have this thing keep coming up to somebody for a meeting? And I'm like, I don't have a meeting tomorrow. Like, oh. yeah. So they'll be here for the whole session? Just for the first hour. Oh, okay. So I got to think so of something to do. But it's smart, but it's smart. I'll figure out what um, the other thing is that um, for it um, that um, Diane brought up is make sure if you have not uh, made your app because when you finish this class, really when you're supposed to do it, is make your application for um, graduation because you can do that this semester before you start your last course. What they do is go through and make sure you've done all the stuff you need to do that you're going to need for graduating with this degree. Now, what's nice about that, especially because you're coming up to the summer, yeah, you don't have a class in the summer because you're doing OB, but we do an OB and the actual um, site clinical. So you'll actually have. Part of your time, you might actually have more than one clinical day because you have to go to site for one of those days. But I, they, I don't know how that all sets up. I have to have a site person come to talk to you. But the reason you do that is because you don't want to wait until you're at the very end in the last semester and find out, oh, I need an English or oh, I need a humanities or whatever it is. So if you haven't done it, that's why you go to you, you make your application because the thing is, you can do it online. It's like ten dollars, fifteen. I don't remember how much it is. But you make the application for a degree. And then once you do that, you'll get a transcript. Uh, the, uh, you can actually take it to a counselor. They can evaluate it and make sure you don't have everything you need to satisfy your degree. There are people that I don't know how they do it. They get to the end and they find out they need a class. So that's the part that you know would hold you up because we can't send your name for it unless you have everything. So if you were missing something, you would have to take it either during the intercession that happens over the Christmas break, because there's two weeks when you go to class all day, five days a week. Mm -hmm. So you can do that if you wanted to. Or you can try, who wants to do that over Christmas break? But, um, <laughs> After this. <laughs> or you can, um, you can do it over the summer, take something during the summer, or take it 
With OBGYN? Oh, yes. No, I wouldn't. I mean, it's up to you how you can do a class. But somebody, if you need an English, somebody just might take the English and the same day you're on campus for class, just take an English class. So, I mean, it's, it's up to you how you want to do it, but it's just that you have to have everything satisfied for the degree at the end of this kind of thing. And sometimes you'll have people that get through and find out they need something, like a computer class or, I mean, some kind of crazy thing. <laughs> But I mean, it's, it's a way to find, I mean, you can find out just by doing that, but that's something, or you can actually just take your, um, make an um, appointment with a counselor and have them go over your transcripts with you. So you can do it either way. But you do, for, for sure, make sure you apply for a degree in MP3. So when you start the summer, in the middle of the class, sign, all ready to sign up for your degree, because that way you'll find out everything you need to know. Um, the other thing is, um, probably before, in the next couple weeks, somebody's going to come and talk to you about the class in the summer year. About what you guys are doing for that. And then I, I don't know for sure, I, your MP4 class, I think it's going on this camp. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's that we're staying here the whole time. Okay. So that means I want to have a camp. You know, maybe anything you can do on the next Oh, you're going to miss us? I don't know. I think y'all should come with me, I think. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Get for OBGYN? It's either probably Miss Bader who Bader. teaches it all the time. Now. Um, sometimes, depending on who, there are some people that do the OB class and the PEDS class together, and there are some instructors that only do one or the other. So, Miss um, Bader has taught both classes. Miss Nappy has taught both classes. So it just depends on which one they're doing for the summer. Um, what's interesting is that when I was talking to um, Denise, who is doing the clinic, Ms. Williams is doing the clinic at Florida Hospital. She actually does OB. Oh, awesome. <laughs> awesome. That was her. That was her thing that she did before. So I said, "Are you doing clinical?" She said, "I don't know." Yeah, then so she said, "No, I can't do it on Wednesday because y'all will keep me out of prep meeting." I said, "No, you need to do it prep meeting." <laughs> so, <laughs> so we got to figure out, switch that day around. So we'll we'll see. Uh, um, but that's because uh, next of it, I have an evening class out here now. But next. In the fall, I have the evening class, and they'll be. So, so MP4 would be in the morning here with you. No. Y'all don't want me back. I know that. We know. 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 We I don't know. I will. I will ask her if y'all. This is what y'all really want. I will ask her to see if she'll move y'all to to damn me. Cause I, I just. Y'all like coming out here? No. 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 More miles, less time. More miles, less time. More miles. So we'll, we'll see. Oh, less time. Less time. It's all highway. Yeah. For both, I don't know yet because depending on how, if we guys, if we keep you the same way you are now on Wednesday afternoon, usually there's a clinical on Wednesday at both of the hospitals where they have students. The night, what is interesting or what would, to me would make sense is if those students were giving y'all report, so it end up being like the continuous, you know, like if you get somebody there in the morning, that student would give you reported in the afternoon. So it still works regardless. Mm -hmm. So I just have to see. We have coordinating council um, later on this month. We That's why all the schools get together and they talk about where their student placements are going to be for the whole semester. So the fall term and spring term are usually our biggest one. Summer is, is the easy one. But everybody's fighting over their placement council. And so um, what's nice for us is that we actually have somebody that works in Florida hospitals so we don't have that issue about fighting places for y'all. And then um, with uh, St. Joseph's been, it was easy getting y'all in there too. So, And everything is going okay there as far as... Like okay, good. Yeah. All right, so what we need to do is, um, I will ask about that I'm not sure. But if it, does that work for everybody who in the afternoon when it works better for you than... Yes. The clinical, you mean? Yeah. 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 Oh, I get it. All right.
I will see what you, because I don't know yet. That's the thing about it is everything has to end up going to how we make it so it's best for everybody. I mean, I know it's, we are concerned about you as well, but it has to be for looking at the whole program kind of thing. But I will find out about that. And I'll let you know. But I don't even know what they requested so far. I just know it's Saturday morning I got a, a page like at 7 o'clock tomorrow I'm like, and it was about something going on at, at um, St. Joe's on Saturday. There's a school that's in our place where our students are supposed to be. You know, I get stupid and stuff. I think I had to stop myself, put them back in, kind of thing. And then I had to, I had to call some people this morning to find out what's going on. And you, you don't really, I mean, it's, it's, you run a fine line between, you know, saying, well, we're supposed to be here. Why are these people here? You don't know what other kind of arrangements some other schools kind of make on the back side because we're hearing more and more about schools that are actually paying to get into clinical sites where students are responsible for paying preceptors to have clinical. I mean, it's getting crazy kind of thing. Part of that is because our state was so unregulated about opening nursing schools. We have more nursing schools than any state in the union. And it was because we had this just open kind of thing going on. You can open a school, whatever kind of thing, because that was going to cause the nursing, sh uh, get rid of the nursing shortage. What you did was just put a lot of people in debt, because a lot of those schools charged a fortune, and people can't transfer those credits anywhere, and they owe thousands and thousands of dollars. And depending on where you're trying to get a job, you can't even work. The VA won't even hire you if you don't go to an accredited school. And a lot of the uh, hospitals have fallen in the line of that. Because Tampa General is that way. Uh, Florida Hospital is that way. So if you don't go to a school that's accredited, you can't even get a job in certain places. But yet these people owe sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 for going to school. And that every time I hear those commercials on TV, it makes me want to cringe. That, you know, there's no waiting list and all this kind of yeah. You let anybody in, that's the problem. You don't, you don't think about it. It's, and I'm not saying that and, and try to be, you know, like an elitist type thing, but some people don't have it to do. They've never passed the in-place exam. You don't let the students in. I had a student come see me. I just happened to have my door open one day. This guy comes into my office. He can barely speak English from Russia someplace. I couldn't understand what he was talking about. But I finally got out that he had gone through Galen in their LPN program and got cert to a certain point and he wasn't able to function anymore and he was trying to figure out what he can do. Why are you asking? I'm thinking, why are you asking me this question on top of it? But he had already said he was like $40,000 in debt already and that he couldn't, he couldn't pass tests anymore. I, you know, it's always going to be harder as you go along, but as, that's, you don't do anybody any favor to have students do that and then still can't be successful. Because the end result is that you need a license. You know, you need to work. You have some of these schools, especially the ones that are, you know, that are like this, have pass rates like 33%, 40%, that kind of It's crazy. And these people all this money out this way. And that student loan don't come due. But so they're changing everything too. You get to get it a good time because everything will change with student loan money too. They're making it harder and harder for students. That you have to have everything done in first semester period. That's what you're putting forward for the state. Regardless of if you took things, if you took financial aid, you prereqs, that means that starts your time clock. You know how many people would not get through nursing school? They don't think about, you know, but it's what people mess up for everybody mm -hmm. when they do stuff like that. And so that's what's going to end up coming out. You have to do everything, including prereqs, things that are required in four semesters. And that's it. That's all you're going to get from the mentor. That is good for a lot of people. Especially people that, you know, this is your second job or you're, you know, you're a, a, a part-time student because of everything in life that you have going on. You have kids, you have family, you have all this kind of stuff. You can't afford to do that. That means people don't have to just go to school, period. And we, you can't really do that. That's, you know, in this day and age, you can't. There was, there was a time you might have been able to, but now you can't. Everybody has to work in some regard to get it. Get it. So it's, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. crazy. Well, that's just my philosophy. But anyway, I forgot that guy was coming to watch me tomorrow. So he'll be here tomorrow.
<laughs> I have to be nice because the circle will make me crazy. No. I know. I got no player, I'm asking you to all right, we're going to uh, talk about these things that I, look, that I have something for you to for, for, to, um, for a point that you're going to give us some space for your... Uh,